Hello everyone, Danilo here. Welcome or welcome back. This video is going to help you immensely if you keep hearing the word AI or generative AI, but deep down you don't really understand it, but feel it's too late or embarrassing to ask, in case you end up looking organically unintelligent. It's like asking that neighbor, work colleague, or Starbucks co-hangout who you wave to at least a hundred times what their actual name is. But that time is too late, and you just keep on pretending you know each other's names. Not a great situation to be in, especially for generative AI, a topic that not only could, but 100% will change your life. I promise you this is going to be probably the best AI explainer video you've ever seen. You can finally join back into this AI or generative AI conversations, no longer feeling guilty, you don't know what all this stuff really means. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Finally, what exactly is AI? AI is short for artificial intelligence. It's essentially a field of computer science dedicated to creating machines that mimic human intelligence. But let's make that a tad more relatable. Think about how your phone recognizes your face. How does it know it's you? Well, that's AI doing its magic. Or consider how Spotify surprises you with that perfect song you've never heard before based on your listening habits. Surprise, surprise, that's AI again. Another way I like to explain this is like the mouse on the computer is like the computer's hands. The screen of the computer is the computer's eyes. The speakers of the computer are like its mouth, giving you sound back. And the computer's microphone is like its ears, listening to your instructions. And finally, the processor and the storage inside the computer help you store, organize, and process data to fulfill your commands. So artificial intelligence is essentially code or logic that helps the computer utilize as many of these tools or senses as possible in order to be as smart as possible. Maybe thinking about it this way may help you too. So artificial intelligence is all around us, influencing our lives in ways that we might not even be aware of. From our daily morning commute suggested by Google Maps to the personalized shopping recommendations we receive from Amazon. Every aspect of our modern lifestyle is subtly orchestrated by AI. What people don't realize is that AI already pretty much controls your life. I carefully chose the word controls because let's face it, as humans, we love a good helper. And eventually we'll end up relying so much on that helper that it can ultimately become a huge influence in our lives. The same is happening here. Just look at the world's richest companies. Most of them are AI companies today or heavily use AI to generate their revenues, which means you, my friend, are a slave to their AI in some shape or form. That's where they make all of their money from. Okay, now we've laid the groundwork, it's time to introduce you to something called generative AI. Imagine an AI system that not only learns and makes decisions, like the ones we've talked about before, but goes a step further and creates new content. Sounds exciting, right? A quick example would be auto-translate on language apps. They aren't simply translating words from one language to another like a dictionary does, Instead, they generate entirely new sentences in another language that retain the original meaning. Now that's truly innovative. This is what generative AI is all about. It doesn't merely analyze and learn. It creates, innovates, and sometimes even surprises us with its capabilities. Tools like OpenAI, like ChatGBT, DALI, and separately Midjourney, and soon Copilot from Microsoft, and Google Bard, Google Gemini, Bloomberg ChatGPT, Watson X. There are hundreds now, and they all allow us to use the power of AI really easily, and it's geared towards helping to create, which is perhaps one of the biggest demonstrations of intelligence. Think about it. Even you as a human struggle to find creativity sometimes, right? Think about the typical writer's block or similar scenarios where you just can't find a solution to a puzzle or a real life problem. Generative AI is pretty cool in that it gives you that information because it stores and remembers and contextualizes thousands of pieces of information more than a human is able to. So it can sometimes be as creative or even more creative depending on the situation. Don't worry, I have lots of videos regarding how you can make this into your advantage so you won't miss out. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It could literally change your life. I want to touch on a really important topic though before we continue. This is a fast paced digital era where you constantly get bombarded with information. It's crucial to select your sources very wisely, especially when it comes to a field as dynamic, as transformative as AI. Unlike your tech savvy cousin or your IT enthusiastic neighbor or your ever knowing office colleague, I've dedicated nearly 20 years of my life to AI. I've been in the trenches, leading AI programs for global giants like Citigroup, United Health Group, 
that are some of the world's top companies that run the world. I've been recognized as a thought leader and I have the honor of being ranked amongst the most influential people in AI globally to date. This journey hasn't been easy, but the grit, persistence and passion that I have for AI has led me here. With this wealth of experience, I'm perfectly poised to guide you through this fascinating journey of AI, separating the signal from the noise. For me, it was really important to start disseminating my knowledge on a larger scale because I'm starting to realize that AI or generative AI for a long time, the world's inequality will in fact get worse before it gets better. So as an influencer in this space, I want to try and do what I can to help make this knowledge as accessible as possible. Think about it. If your life depended on it, would you choose the best doctor you can find to help you or a nurse that's still studying as a hobby? I know which one I would pick. All right, let's take a moment to unravel some of the intimidating jargon you've probably heard before, like machine learning or neural networks. Think of machine learning as a process of teaching a toddler to walk. You don't list every detail or instruction out to that toddler. Instead, you guide them. You let them stumble. You let them learn. And slowly but surely, they will master the art of walking. Similarly, with machines, we feed them data and lots and lots of data. These machines then identify patterns and learn this data in order to make decisions. Just like a toddler learns to balance and take those first steps. ChatGPT3, for instance, is estimated to contain around 60 million web pages, representing a good portion of the internet. The model was also trained on several other datasets like books and other sources of text too. As for neural networks, they're essentially the brain of the machine. Imagine a complex interconnected web of nodes or neurons passing on and processing information. These networks decipher the nuances from complex patterns like our brain decodes new flavors or recognizes a friend's face in the crowd. Like I said, a lot of how AI or generative AI works are built on mimicking human behavior and ways of learning. It is surprisingly similar to how humans function. In a way, if you think about it, it makes sense too. As humans, we can't really create something smarter than ourselves as we are limited by our own intelligence and design. Consider the figures to emphasize the enormity of AI's potential, for instance. The human brain can process 60 bits of information per second. Impressive, isn't it? But hold on to your seat because AI systems can process approximately one exaflop. So that's a billion, billion calculations per second. To put that into perspective, every human on Earth completed the same calculation per second. It would take us four years to accomplish what AI accomplishes in one second. In that one second, AI can do what? the entire Earth can do in four years. To put that into context, generative AI especially uses this colossal computating power to create new content. ChatGPT3, ChatGPT4, as an example of generative AI, has 175 billion machine learning parameters and can produce human-like text like it's almost indistinguishable from a person might write. However, it was trained on hundreds of gigabytes of text data, equivalent to reading millions of books concurrently. Can any human process that much information? Clearly, the answer is no. With a technology this powerful, ask yourself a question. Would you want to use it to help yourself or would you want to look the other way and hope that everything turns out okay? I know which one I would choose. It's time to pay attention, guys. But hey, at least now you know what machine learning and neural networks is for now. And now you can come to the big question. Why should you, no matter what profession or age group you belong to, learn about generative AI today? Well, firstly, it's an integral part of our daily lives, more than we might realize. Siri answering your questions on the iPhone, the personalization ads that you get from Instagram, the predictive texts you might type on your phone are all examples of AI in action that you use every day. By understanding how these tools function, we can use them more effectively and safeguard our privacy better. Secondly, AI, particularly generative AI, is the future. It's not an exaggeration to say that it's going to revolutionize jobs, economies, and the skills needed to thrive in the world today. So having a basic understanding will help you adapt, evolve, and stay well employed. Think about it, it's not AI itself that might replace your job, it's your colleague, a bright inquisitive teenager, or an AI savvy individual using AI to enhance the productivity that poses the competition to you. In essence, AI is a tool, a powerful one, and the power lies in the hands of those who understand and can yield it effectively. Lastly, AI, especially generative AI, is genuinely fascinating. We stand at the brink of a technological revolution, guys. We're in an era where machines aren't just tools, but creators now. Isn't that something worth knowing more about? So here's the deal. 
the more you learn about AI, the more informed you become and the better decisions you can make and the brighter the future you can shape for yourselves. Knowledge empowers us to ensure that this remarkable technology benefits all and is used responsibly. As we wrap up, I would like to thank you for sticking with me. I hope this video has piqued your interest and helped demystify AI and generative AI. If you found this useful, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and share it. This initial video was necessary to help set the tone and I promise all future videos will be brought to be thought provoking and to be super practical in terms of bringing you tips on how to use AI to your advantage. As always, this is Danila McGarry signing off, but without reminding you that stay curious, keep learning and keep questioning. The future is AI and the future is in our hands to shape it.